While law enforcement continue to search for the escaped murderer, police are also looking for the person who shot at several homes in a Raleigh neighborhood. Police say it happened in Raleigh's Headingham neighborhood overnight. Several homes were left riddled with bullets. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live off of Shadow Glen Drive. And Mariah, a lot of neighbors very concerned, and rightfully so. Yeah, that's right. We're actually standing on the just back end of the, one of the homes that was hit, and you can just see the extent of damage here. Multiple bullet holes in the side of this home, as well as a door that's now covered. Just a couple hours ago, we saw glass that was shattered out here. Now, we did reach out to neighbors in this area, many of them who say the Headingham community is still healing after a mass shooting that happened just a couple of years ago. A home surrounded by caution tape sitting with shattered glass, riddled with more than 80 bullet holes. It was so loud, my house was shaking. Just bum, 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 bum. Around 3.45 a.m., Sherry Roger says the sound of gunfire startled families living off a cul-de-sac on Shadow Glen Drive. She rushed to look out her bedroom window. If anything, I'm, I'm angry that this has been my home for nearly 30 years, and I take it very personal that somebody would come and threaten our little neighborhood. Roger says she never saw anything, but pointed to the back of her neighbor's home, sitting off the golf course where police and forensic officers gathered evidence. She says the two people renting next door had recently moved in. And they were just terrified because, I mean, the bullets went through their bedroom window. I mean, it, they went through to the garage in the front of the house. By the grace of God, nothing happened to my house, but immediately next door to me, um, bullets went into a child's bedroom. Raleigh police say the gunfire hit at least three homes, all with families inside. While no arrests have been made yet, Roger says this neighborhood is thankful. As a neighborhood, we've all just been hugging each other all morning, checking in and amazed that with all these bullets, nobody was hurt. Roger says they've got a wonderful neighborhood. She and others have no plans to move, but protect. We also took a look at an incident report that says about $15,000 worth of damage is here at this house. And we did hear from the uh, owner's family who mentioned that, again, it's not just the damage to the outside of this home, but they also had pipes that were hit by those bullets. So they do have some plumbing repairs that they're looking at. The police department is asking if anyone has information to reach out. And Raleigh Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. So scary to see the amount of bullets just yeah. in that one home behind you, Mariah, in this poor neighborhood. And so senseless. Yeah. All right, Mariah, thanks so much.